Dog loves to play. Dog loves to play. We're back. We're back. We got some oil. It's about three liters. Okay. It's a broken one. Nope. <clears throat> okay. So tonight <clears throat> we're back. We're doing more maintenance on the Sea Dew. It's a 2010 RXT 215 and. We're gonna do an oil change. So did the spark plugs. The spark plug change made a world of difference and it seems to have fixed the issue. <clears throat> courtesy of my, I'm able to work in the gar garage comfortably, courtesy of my mini split, which I have a video on as well. <clears throat> um, but long story short, that's awesome. This is getting the oil changed. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> I bought some oil, oil change kit for it. So I've got that oil. <clears throat> oh, I've got the filter here. So there's that. They even sent some gloves. This company here, I think they're out of... Cedar Rap, uh, Council Bluffs, Cedar Rap, I don't know, somewhere up in Iowa. They put together an oil change kit. I've got that. Um, even got a little funnel here. So, <clears throat> got the O rings there, if you can see them. So, I've got all that stuff there. I also purchased a little suction hoodies. So, this. that this thing this thing it all works together to suck out the oil from there i believe so um that's what i'm gonna do basically put all this together you stick the hose down there you suck the oil out put new oil in and you're done uh you gotta put a filter in then you're done so i'm gonna get everything set up and then go f see at the next step taking this off because I think I'm just kind of searching but I think the oil filter is under this so it'll be easier to get to <clears throat> and also the air filter I might um, go ahead and switch that out while I've got everything kind of apart <clears throat> if you will Okay, update. I took the top of the air box cover off. I took that black piece that was over there off. I showed that a little bit. Um, I unhooked it from that, the coolant tank, to move it back. The oil filter is, let me see if I can stop and start and get you a good, oh, got a, got a flashlight, what am I doing? oil filters right there um it's got kind of a funky uh nut on it i used a 5 16 socket came off just fine and dandy so i'm gonna pump the oil out first and then i'm gonna take that out that way if there's any at the bottom maybe it'll drain back down in there 
Um, so next up is to figure out how to use this thing to start pumping the oil out. Okay, got the oil, the dipstick out. Let's stick this down in here till it stops. Pull it up in just a little bit. And now, I'm gonna start pumping. There it is. So I'm going to let that do its thing for a little bit and I'll come back with an update shortly. Okay, so I have taken the pump out, uh, pumped out just over three liters, which I think is pretty decent um, from what I've read. It's the first time doing it, so I'm not sure, but you know, doing it this way, I don't feel like you're ever gonna get all the oil out. <clears throat> and this oil really that wasn't that bad. Um, it hadn't been driven much since the last oil change, so it took forever. So I don't know if other pumps are faster, but this guy was pretty slow. And the jet ski wasn't warm, obviously, since it's middle of winter, so that made the oil a little thicker. But I am going to resume filling it tomorrow. I went ahead and took the oil filter out and changed it while, um, oh my, while I was waiting. So it's got the fresh oil filter in, new rings. There's the old rings, old oil filter in my pizza boxes. <clears throat> um, so I'm ready to put new oil in it tomorrow. And what I'm gonna do is mark where that one got filled up to. I'm gonna dump that in my old oil container to take to the auto parts store to dump it. Uh, and then just basically put that same amount of oil and then check the dipstick because it was really uh in a good spot before i took the oil out so put in what i took out is kind of how i look at it so we'll uh do that tomorrow and i'll catch you then and finish up the video so all went pretty smooth i had to take off more plastics and stuff than i was hoping so the top air box that uh brace there um a couple other little bolts here and there but you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. It's all pretty easy to put back on. So it ought to be a pretty, pretty easy job. It just took a while because it took so long to pump the oil out. So um, next time I'll know, plan kind of ahead to get that started and go do something else. But that's it for tonight, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>
and put it back together. And then this bad boy, I'm gonna wipe wipe it down there. We'll get the I drip some oil on the the uh, good night sea dew. Wipe that down and clean it up. And then we're done. And then to this weekend, I'm gonna switch the trailers around. So put this one on our trailer, put the new one on this trailer, and then everything will be set. We've gotta get the gray one over there serviced next week. And then the two dual trailer, double trailer goes back to its home. And we're done with just the sea dews for till the spring yep so today put oil back in and put all the covers back on um oil is here i have a bucket of oil here well this is partial bucket i have an actual bucket right there that i dump the oil in and take it to a shop to have it disposed of properly so i'm going to dump the old oil and put the new oil in okay so got the oil in i used this guy to i filled it back up with oil where it i dumped it where the amount of oil i sucked out i put that back in there filled it with that spout worked really well i spilled a little bit because um, I was a klutz, but that's beside the point. So I, when I, <clears throat> I cranked it over a few times to make sure it pumped a little oil into the new filter um, and then put the rest of it in just to make sure and then check the oil and all, all is good on the oil. So now it's time to put it back together. <laughs> And it cranked right up. Those new spark plugs, man, they're amazing. Um, I did check the spark plugs to make sure they weren't fouled after my 10-minute ride, and they looked really good, so that makes me feel pretty good about that. Um, guessing they just hadn't been changed for a while. So now I'm going to start putting stuff back together and start cleaning up my mess. Um, one thing I'm not sure about is I don't know if you can see it, but there's water down there. And I have sucked the water out many times with that shop vac. So I don't know the, this, when it was stored, the drain plugs were not taken out. It was left open partially to charge the battery. The cover was ripped. So water has 100% gotten in through those back places. There's no crack in the hole or anything, but I know there's been water in there and it's just, it's stayed, right? Like this has never fully been drained out or cleaned out, I don't think. Um, and, you know, no talk about to anybody's, but anybody, but that one over there, these were both stored in the same place, same way a trickle charger was left on them across the winter and then long periods in the summer when they weren't being used to keep the batteries good. Um, that one doesn't have any openings in the back. This one is that's where the battery's at, so that's open. So by you know they they were on a covered lift, but that's the back. So naturally water gets in there, and it just seems like I keep sucking water out, keep sucking water out. It's finally like it's set for a couple of days, and there's not much water in there. So I'm hoping that I finally have gotten it all pretty much out. But man, it's got it's taken a long time to dry out and get all that water out. So, you know, long story short, make sure you close those openings. Um, even if you're leaving a trickle charger on and it sets outside. Um, so here you go. So we're done. I'm not going to record any more of it because it's, you know, you do what you did. You, when you take it off, you put it back on. So I'm going to put that cover back on and then that brace there for the handle and then probably not much else is gonna happen until I switch the trailers around. And then this will, I'll put the cover on this and store it away for the rest of the winter. Unless I go ride it when it's nice the next week. 
So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see more sea dew stuff or jet ski stuff in general. Um, going to be doing a lot more of that this summer. So have a good rest of the weekend, week, whatever time you watch this. Thank you.